Software Planner allows you to integrate your Quick Test Pro runs into dashboards and reports that you can view from Software Planner. The advantage of this is it allows you to run your Quick Test Pro tests on different machines and then be able to view the run history uh, from dashboards as well as reports. Now to get started with this integration you must have a copy of Quick Test Pro 10 or higher as well as Software Planner. Once you have that, you can go out and read our user's guide for this integration. It's at softwareplanner.com slash usersguide underscore qtp dot pdf. The first thing you need to do once reading the user's guide is you need to install the integration. And we have a link inside of the user's guide here for installing it. And once it's installed, it will go into your all programs area. So you'll click start all programs, then automated QA, then automated testing bridge, then software planner registration. And from here you'll see a QTP tab. You'll enter in your email address and password from software planner as well as what project you want the runs to enter into inside of software planner for any run that you do inside of QTP. In this example we're going to route all of our runs into this stock trader project. This test directory here is the directory that contains your Quick Test Pro test, and the same thing for the log folder. But that can be any directory you choose. Finally, this is your machine name. Once that's all set up, you're ready to run. All right. So once you bring up Quick Test Pro, you can then simply create a test to be run by Quick Test Pro. I'll bring up Quick Test Pro. I have it here. Notice that I've created a new run to test a file open feature. As soon as I press run, it will then begin running this automated test. This is simply running an orders application. Now once it's done, it'll record the run results into a log file uh, for Quick Test Pro. And from that point, I can then open up Software Planner and see that run activity. In fact, let's do that. I'll open up Software Planner. Notice that we have in the test cases area an automation runs area, and it has now recorded that run activity. You can analyze these by date that they were run. So I can see that 13 have run today, and I can see those here. I can also subgroup that by what machine they ran on and or even the test case name. So now I can see that today I've run on my Quick Test Pro machine 12 runs, 11 of them have been the file open uh, test case. Over here on the right hand side I can see the run activity of each of those and I can expand this. So I can see that it was run on this host, it passed, there's one test that was run, zero failed, one passed. I can see the date that it started and ended, how long it took to run, who ran it, the date it was run, and the file that was actually run. If I want to look at more details like the Quick Test Pro uh, log file, I can click on that record and it brings up the Quick Test Professional log file showing me the details of that run. I can also view this information on a dashboard. For example, if you go to Test Cases and you click on Dashboards here, it will now analyze all of that run history and it will show you for specific machines or you can aggregate, aggregate that across all of your machines, allowing you to see run history across your entire organization.